Peaches, welcome to Previewed, where friends don't let friends watch episodic television alone. You fell right into that one, dude. Like that's how we're starting 2021, huh? Yep. Oh uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm Adam, and I'm Jay, and today we're gonna react, review, riff, and at the end we're gonna rate the first episode of season three of everyone's new favorite karate school show, Woo! Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. I straight up, I heated season one and two up on a spoon and just got it in me. Woo! It was fun. I had a lot of fun. Good. Um, yeah. I, I hope you did because Jay watched him last week in like a couple of days. Yeah. I watched it back in, I think it was like August or September, whenever it first came on Netflix. And yeah. it was like, hey, the new show. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is here? Yes, please. Uh, I watched all of it in a couple of days. It's fantastic. Uh, but it's been a couple months for me. Jay watched it a couple days ago. Yeah. So, to prove that you have watched it, and to help catch me up, yes. and it'll be faster than do watching not, a thing... Do not, do not make me sum up this whole thing. Can show. you sum up two seasons of Cobra Kai in 120 seconds? Kids like karate. <laughs> okay! No, uh, yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Danny, they, they're mad at each other, and then he starts teaching karate, but he's kind of drunk, mm -hmm. and then, uh, Daniel, he sells cars, and they have kids, but then their kids are like, oh, so much drama, and then the other kid gets his butt kicked with Pepto-Bismol, and then... Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, they learn karate, and then the kid, the main character from the rollerblading movie Brink is Johnny's kid and he loses to his Johnny's mentor and it's like a whole thing and then Danny starts to start up his school but then like nobody wants to come because he's kind of lame mm -hmm. and Cobra Kai like uh, crashes their like karate demonstration oh that's right yeah which yeah which is totally a baller move on Johnny's part mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lit those bricks on fire I was like this is, this is good yeah <laughs> this is good <laughs> yeah and, and then Johnny's old instructor shows up, and he pretends to be good, but he's actually bad, mm -hmm. and he steals Cobra Kai. Oh, no! And then uh, Manny is paralyzed. Yeah, that was savage. <laughs> Straight up savage. And then there's, like, they're all, like, it's basically, like, karate. Like, everyone at this high school now knows, does karate. Yes. <laughs> it's basically uh -huh. what, what's going on in Cobra Kai. Yeah. yeah. All, all the high school kids and the one guy who should not be allowed in the high school knows karate and are fighting each other in the school. So who is your favorite character? I like Manny. Okay. Because I buy Manny. Oh, sure. Like, I get it. Like, I under... It's the one thing I really appreciate about this show so far mm -hmm. is that I really don't know who I'm rooting for most of the time. Oh, okay. Because, like, yeah. I know it's Johnny's story. And yes. I, and I like seeing him mm -hmm. evolve yes. and become a better man. Mm -hmm. But also, he's still being the same person, in a way. Yes. And I'm like, I'm like, man, sometimes because sometimes does Johnny does some things that I'm like, dude, don't do that. Yep. But then you know, Danny shows up, and I'm like, yo, Danny kind of sucks too. He's doing this for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. for a lot of times, mm -hmm. even though under the guise of being the good guy. Uh huh. I feel like uh, Danny is doing, is doing bad or is doing good for bad reasons, and Johnny is trying to do good but doing it badly yes and so it's like really but the one thing about season two the the scene i really liked the most okay. and I, was, I was kind of ha i was i was a good three quarters of the way into the bag by this scene but when they have dinner <laughs> when they yes, have dinner the at the thing? mexican thing yeah. and I, I finally just go i turned to kimberly who i was watching with and i go yo they're best friends they're best friends you know why because they are the only two people on the planet that the most important that had that share the most important day of their lives, regardless oh, of how well it went. That's a very good putting it. Only two that actually care about that mm -hmm. day. They're, that's like their singular focus, and th that's what they share. And that's like that that will inevitably be what bonds them. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they have an extraneous bad guy now that they can like team up and smack and like, you know. Yep. Mm hmm. I also may have looked into taking kung fu lessons, like twice while watching through. They're a little too expensive. They're a little expensive, York. yeah. Yeah, and I don't have time. You sure, we, we we could train here. Sensei, Sensei, Sensei Lashi. Mm -hmm. No, you no. I I feel like you and I approach martial arts very differently. 
Probably, yeah. You'd totally be Cobra Kai. You think? And I would completely be Miyagi, though. That brings up a very good point. Because my favorite character is Hawk. Yeah. Hard. He is the best character of the show because I relate to him the most. Well, he's learning the right lesson the totally wrong way. Yes. He, this, I mean, there is, I have yet to see a better turn to the dark side. Yeah. Than Hawk's journey. Because uh-huh. I relate to him, like, yeah, being picked on as, out of school for a thing he couldn't help. And then it's like, you know what? Forget this. I'm just, I'm choosing to change. Yeah. Fuck everybody. I'm Hawk now. And yeah. for a little bit, it's totally it was working. inspiring. Absolutely. And then it goes, and, and then it completely, it goes way too because far. Because he got too much power, and it was just like, why would I ever give this up? I'm finally getting respect. I will never be yeah. that other person. Enter Dimitri, and he was like, hey, I want my friend back. You can be Hawk, but like, I know you like sci-fi stuff. Yeah. Let's talk about Star Wars. I know you're in there. Yeah. Where's my friend? I will never be that guy again. I never want to get hurt. I'm like, I see, I can, you know, yeah. I just like, yes, I know where you're coming from. But you go with Dimitri. He's like, it's okay. It's okay. But he's like, I refuse. I refuse to go back. And I was like, of course he joins Evil Cobra Kai at the end. Like, it's his journey is so amazing. Yeah. It's so well written. And that's the other thing. Everyone else's journeys are so well written because it's they're taking their time with every like Johnny is like making well, a lot of mistakes, but like he's slowly becoming a better it person. It exists in the gray in a, in a way I was yes. not anticipating. Neither was I. Because it's, let's be real, Karate Kid is like black and white. Yep. Like it is mm-hmm. even though like even though it's not like I'm realizing now, as they're like, as they are kind of like ruminating on it, I was like, maybe there's more to Karate Kid. Kimberly was like, I don't think so. She's like, I think they're doing a good job of retconning that we all like that there was more to this movie other than a little bit. I mean, looking back at the movie, Johnny, uh, not Johnny, but I mean, Johnny clearly was the bad guy, but Daniel was not like he was our protagonist, but he like threw, he, he actively got himself into yeah. a lot of those situations he threw in the, the first movie. Punch a little bit more than uh, yeah. So like, but I mean, it was a typical '80s film. But looking back at it now, with the lens of right now, you're like, oh yeah, Daniel was a little bit more active in his own. Like, maybe he shouldn't have done that stuff. Yeah. But that was an '80s protagonist. It's not yeah. a 2000. It's like how in Star Wars, yeah, Luke blew up the Death Star, which he saved the day. They were the bad guys, but he also killed like 14 million people. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Anyways, this show is fantastic. I can't wait to see more kids kick each other's asses. Uh, but more importantly, I can't wait to see their journey. I'm here for the journey. Yeah. The, the, the kung fu is just a bonus. All right, here we it's go. It's karate. It's not kung fu. Sorry, karate. Yes. You're right. They are very different. They are very different. All I right. want to learn kung fu. Oh, do you? I have nothing against karate, but I just feel like kung fu is more my speed. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. I need mental discipline. It's loud in there. <laughs> a lot of monkeys with symbols. Yeah. <laughs> it's karate time. The blue mats are real good. Yeah, man. It's, it's, yep. Really changed everything. Mm hmm. Find the asymmetrical key. <laughs> ah, they just had to show that again. Yeah, huh? man. Yeah, they did. Woo. Gah. For what can only be described as an all-out karate riot. She really got to show the stairs. Well, yeah, she's, no, she's clearly in that hallway. I thought karate died out in the 80s. Earlier today, students organized a peaceful gathering of prayer and song. Play Wonderwall! <laughs> now he's refusing to pay. He said he didn't order a Coors Light. He ordered Coors Banquet. <laughs> they there are it's, different. It's, it's a, yeah, there's a difference. A fellow student, Miguel Diaz, on the second floor balcony, landing right here on this staircase. They... <laughs> <laughs> Let's, you know what? We got footage. Yeah. Let's roll it back. Here you go, homie. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> Get loose, <man>. Take it easy. <laughs> Strangers aren't that mean to other people in real life. No? no I don't think so. Are you sure? It seems like most... Uh times I interact with other people, it's always just about to break into a karate fight. That's because you have a very punchable face. <laughs> Someone's getting back through the window. Yeah! Get out of the car! Get out of the car, swear to me! <laughs> You're dead, amigo. <laughs> 
great subversion. I honestly thought he was going to beat him up drunkenly, but no, no, yeah. No, no, no. Daniel, our name is Poison. Turns out, kicking the competition isn't a cute tagline when your karate student literally kicks the competition over a railing. That's a very good point. <laughs> People, please take your seats. This is Thank you all not going to go well. No. How do we know this isn't going to happen again? We have a new initiative called Hugs, Not Hits. Uh, it's like D.A.R.E., except it actually works. So your solution is to hug kids? Then they're hugging each other. Yeah, there's pelvis is apart, but arms around. It was your student who hurt Diaz. You reap what you sow. It's kind of true. A little bit. But also, Cobra Kai totally started it. It was a low-key terrorism, what she did, breaking oh, in. Oh, yeah, going you're, over you're the, spe right. the loud right. speaker. Yep. You're right, you're right, yeah, yeah. And being like, you're dead. Like, that's some... That's some Batman villain stuff. Mm -hmm. That look infected. Oh! 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 The makeup department had a lot of fun with that. That's <laughs> yeah. really just like a one second shot. You really don't need. No, we're gonna. We're, we're, gonna we're be, hanging on this. This is gonna be a gross foot. That's them out there looking for Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I forgot, oh, I forgot about that. Oh. She's a Karate Juliet, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This season is entitled Plague on Both Your Houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anybody gives you any trouble, just come to me. I'm the guy. Who wets the bed and got kicked into that trophy case? Yeah, we know. Hey, Dimitri. Someone knows who I am. Light side of her life, man. Don't you go up somewhere to be? Yes, Counselor Vlad. <laughs> Man, Counselor Blatt, maybe she, like, gets real good with nunchucks or something. <laughs> she better be. Like, yeah, man. If you can't beat him, join him. Does that make Aisha a clean bitch? You didn't hear? After the fight, her parents moved her to a private school. No. She was my favorite. Oh. You're cutting Aisha out of here? Come on. She refused to learn karate. We don't got time for that. Her parents are right for if they can afford a private oh, school yeah, at yeah. that point. They're doing karate. <laughs> I remember when his vertebra broke no, right over this. Don't show thing. it again! I don't. This time in super. Oh. Oh. Can we just pause it and maybe circle around and see how many vertebra broke on the impact? No, yeah, I think. man, they really are. We need a telestrator on this one. I have to go. I feel like Dimitri and Hawk is our. It's like the yin and yang of Adam Lash, like spinning. Oh, the, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every yeah, time yeah. I see yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when they talk, I'm like, oh, this is both sides of, of my friend. I could very <laughs> easily have been Hawk. I, that's why I really like his character, because, like, yeah, a couple more wrong moves, I would have been him. Yeah. I couldn't pull off the little Hawk, but... You totally could. Mm. It's all about confidence. Good job. <laughs> yeah, man. Never do that again. <laughs> Okay, I get the gist, all right? So you're saying we're missing a car. I like that You're actually back. missing a 93 Dodge Caravan. Ah, Robbie. But why would he steal that shit box? Because he knows you wouldn't miss it. Because he knows we wouldn't notice. Duh. But if we could find him first, get him to turn himself in, then we can make a better case. Still help him. Look, he took responsibility for this kid. He's got to see it through. He can't just throw him to the wolves now. Oh, sure, sure, sure. With me, I would have taken a Ferrari. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> You're hanging on by this much, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Don't miss a coordinate, or I'll hunt you down like a dog in the street, bro. Let's see about that, bro. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Johnny's gonna fight a bounty hunter. <laughs> time let me see it please okay no no we're gonna flash into it watch oh i straight up i low-key hate that asymmetrical game oh, I, oh I do I, I like it dude one more time for prosperity one more time for big fudge come on <laughs> come on now dude he can't oh but we didn't get to see him on the fall Just on the banister give it a second 
Talk about things he loves. Johnny's gonna show up and fucking wake this kid up. And I think, and I'm fucking here for it. <laughs> Can't you, uh, you know, break the rules? <laughs> yeah. Might be a bad girl. Oh. Does that line work? It did in the 80s. <laughs> Kimberly was totally right when she was just like, oh, this is just a soap opera with kicks. And I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A very well-written soap opera with kicks. And a few punches. And a kid falling over a two-story banister. When did that happen? I don't remember that. They should probably show it again. Yeah, so I, just to so make I sure. See it. If we ever make a TV show and uh, you get hurt in the season finale, I'm definitely going to reshow your... Uh, injury that puts you in a coma over and over and over again in the uh, first See, episode. See, I think if we're writing a preview show, I think you're the one that gets hurt and I don't handle you being in a coma yeah, well. because you keep remembering me being hurt over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show it, but it's your your mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, you just can't get over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. found the GPS, but no van. You must have remembered we track all the trade-ins. Now I'm back to square one. Is there anywhere nearby that he could have gone? Could have taken that van down by the river. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> you can't shock me like that. You're going to get punished. I'm just saying. Good idea, but you're not the smoothest dude, Johnny. As far as, you know, pulling a grift goes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Patience. Mm-hmm. I think I need to see a doctor. <laughs> That's why we like him, man. Oh. He, knows how, he doesn't do anything halfway, you know? Good job, art department on that one. Yikes. Ah. Head wounds, man. They'll get you. So, I came here. Well, in and out, and then here. The season brought to you by In and Out Burger. They don't, that's not even a product placement. That's just realistic it California. It is. Yeah, I know. But yeah, but still. You've been in and out? I have not. I, well, yeah, I bet it's great. Yeah. You'd like it. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. It's like burgers and fries. And right. Shakes. You're that's in. It. You're out. Yeah. 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 And then I think about what. Miguel and Robbie are going through, and I just feel so guilty. It's not your fault. All this started before you were even born. She's involved. It's not. She's the one point of a triangle. I know. They both love her. I'm just saying. She didn't kick Miguel over. No. Up. But she also kissed somebody. She, she kissed Miguel when she shouldn't have. That's true. Yes. But there's one thing I do know for sure, and that's that you can't run away from your problems. You gotta kick them. Over, <laughs> over. Words <laughs> 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 of your story, master. Words of wisdom from from Cobra Kai: You can't run away from your problems. You gotta kick them off a staircase. Mm -hmm. Preferably onto a lower staircase. Oh, I still don't remember it that well. I wish they'd show it again. This sucker's been bothering me a little bit. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have to bang his head yeah. on the thing in order to get in. I'm like, hey guys, it doesn't hurt here. <laughs> here. Oh, if you can hear me, kid, I know you got it in you to pull through. He's finding his coma. You can do this. I know you can. Excuse me. Only family is allowed in here. Yeah, I was just leaving. That was actually very sweet. Yeah, it's kind of like a reverse Uncle Ben situation. Like Peter dying in Uncle yeah. Ben's arms. Johnny? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's time for Daniel to learn what's going on here. Oh, yeah. He looks like if you made Scar the cartoon lion <laughs> yeah. into a man. It's like not not like the re not like a lion, but mm -hmm. like the cartoon Scar made mm -hmm. him into a person. Oh, but you will. 
It's inevitable. But this time, Johnny and I will finish it once and for all. Dude, this guy's going full Palpatine right now. This guy's a psychopath with a capital psycho. With great veneers. Really great veneers. Uh, almost too good? Yeah, almost, yeah. It's like, they're either too straight. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> you know when they smile and they have like the straight yeah. teeth? Yeah. You want to say something? Say it to my face. That's what I thought. Man, Sam's... You're dead, Frosh. You're dead. You hear me? You're dead. You're dead, Frosh. Yeah, you're gonna have to carry this goldfish across the quad with your butt cheeks. <laughs> I got a lead on Robbie. I've been trying to find him on my own. Best friends. We're gonna be best friends. Karate fight best friends. He's out there somewhere. And he doesn't have anyone to help him. Andy Wasn't he a, blonde Andy last got, Andy season? Andy had a terrible haircut. A terrible haircut. That's hey, look, it's the stairs again. The whole reason these kids got into trouble was because of us. Get that go in the nuts! Oh, Good yay. metaphor! Good metaphor! Oh, yay. oh! Oh, he actually really. Oh no, he actually really died. Oh, that's horrible! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's really sad. Especially after a, good, a nice, uplifting moment at the end of the episode. Oh. They're gonna be best friends. They're getting together. Saving the kids, they're gonna kick the guy right in the lids and bust his veneers right out. Do 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 do. He has Ninja Turtle teeth, and they're gonna kick him out of his head. Ah, this was a really good episode. Yeah. It was missing one uh, thing. I thought I just needed one more shot of Miguel going over the railing and hitting the hitting the bastard. What are you talking about? Just you know, Miguel like getting kicked. I don't think they showed that at all. Over, over the railing, and then slow mo. Was that even in there? No. Was that even in it? Uh, they should have probably... Honestly, it's a big plot point. You would have think they would have played it at least once. Like it was just a, like a whole handful of celery just right in the mic. like Just all of the mid-vertebrae. Um, all I know is, I, I know that like that bracelet or whatever was like sharp and all, but like I, I like the way that the, she had those scars on her arm indicated to me that like those were not a, a t those wounds were not tended to properly. I was like, ooh, that you didn't maybe did you? There's probably EMTs on the scene. No one checked you out because those are gross. <laughs> like, uh huh. Ow. I did not know Spencer's sold weaponry. At their store. I mean, you gotta know who to ask. They got a back room. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah that looked like I've but, been at the hospital. I worked at the hospital enough yeah. to know the brachial uh, artery is yeah. right around. The, uh, that seemed like she got like yeah. when she went for the inner arm. That's that's like a wound to kill. No, you can you can like she probably got her good, but it's it's more that like those those scars were a little too big and that indicate that it was just like I feel like some stitches would have stitches it right up. I don't remember, you no, no. yes. Like, maybe you were too embarrassed and they got all a little yucky, but... Yeah, every Hot Topic has a weapons room. You just gotta ask the right person. That's where you think I got my Nightmare Before Christmas uh, double-bladed katana. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's where This it... is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never seen me do that? I haven't. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, you never got a, uh, a, a, limp, a limp biscuit uh, nunchucks? No. Oh, okay. Uh, rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> yes. Rolling, rolling, Yeah, they rolling. say that the, the nunchucks yeah. have like the little thing mm -hmm. in there. That, that, yeah, yeah, it's rolling, rolling, is, yeah. rolling, rolling. Yeah. Yeah. You see these nunchucks but, right here? <laughs> <laughs> they only work if you're wearing a backwards red cap. Ah, uh, yeah. It knows. But I lost my hat, so I can't. That's unfortunate. Yeah. 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 The first Kiki hat. Yeah. yeah. My limp biscuit. <laughs> backwards red baseball Yeah, you were a big fan of rolling back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And some and would say, to, to this day, you, you yeah. like rolling a Love little it. bit. <laughs> Love it. This is a good start to the second, se uh, third season. How many seasons? Three seasons. Three. Uh, this is, I mean, I know we just got done watching Mando, but it's hard not to see this show in Star Wars terms now. Oh, really? 
Yeah, it's See, just because we have two separate Kimberly schools Kimberly watches so many fighting. like soap opera-y things that I'm having a hard time not seeing it as a soap opera. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Ever since she said it, she was like, yeah, this is just like General Hospital, but with karate. And I was like, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Kinda. I see, yeah. you know, two different philosophies, people on the light side and the dark side, uh, overall bad guy. We yeah, have but somebody caught thing. in the middle with his power. I don't know if this necessarily falls into light side and dark side, because I think if this show teaches us anything, it's like there are two sides to every side. You know what I mean? Oh, this show does a fantastic job of showing us a gray middle ground. Absolutely. Yeah. But, like, Dimitri is clearly on the light side. He is. He was a complete prick at that party. He got up and just straight up did ten minutes of crowd work on he, on Eli. He did on Hawk. He yes. He, I was like, yo, this is low key. I was like, this is Dimitri using his actual martial arts, which which is talking linguistics. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, this is not not like this. This is meaner than punching someone in the face. Just saying. Everybody makes mistakes. Absolutely. Excuse <laughs> But ah! overall, Dimitri. Is definitely on the lighter side of things. Ah, I got you, got you. By the end of the season, we're just gonna ah. devolve into a karate fight. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I got you back. That was brilliantly done. I, I thought you were gonna sneeze again. Yeah, that was yeah, really I good. scared you. Now I gotta leave the sneezing. So <laughs> <laughs> Never lower your eyes to the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a good place to end. Uh, hey, I just broke all of our lav mics. I think we're done. Did Jay, I? Oh, did no, I knock over the ring light? Yeah, oh, the ring cool, man. Right. Jay, how would you rate the first episode of season three of Cobra Kai? <laughs> <laughs> uh, th this is uh, this is getting uh, th this is getting zero out of zero. Showing us some fall of the banister. Uh, yeah, why I wasn't Miguel on the panel? <laughs> <laughs> Discord channel where lots of fun cool <coughs> stuff. We're talking about lots of fun cool stuff. Oh. We'd love to have you join that conversation. The link is down below in our description box and wire down there. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Do that YouTube, that you do so well. Guacamole is extra. You, I'm not gonna do it. You karate fighting weirdos, you. Oh, the video is popping up right. Yeah. Um. Uh, Please punch this. We would appreciate yeah. it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.